Howdy folks, and welcome to Coffee and Tools. The Longer Company uh, has made some really good 3D printers. In fact, uh, I want to thank Zbanex for sending a, a 3D printer, a uh, Longer LK5 Pro. They sent it to me uh, months and months ago, and I've been using it ever since, and I have to admit, I love it. It's, it's you know, it, it turned out to be a, a much better printer than I even would have believed because uh, there was some competition printers that were very good brand names that I had kicking around the house. And I got this longer 3D in and it was like, whoa, this thing is even smoking better than those. So I was like, ah, you know what, we're going to keep the longer. And we got rid of the other printers. Uh, then I found out recently that longer has now come out with a laser, which you know, can cut plywood, engrave, do all these cool things with uh, wood hobbies and stuff. Which, so, they offered to send one over, and of course when I found out it was longer, I said, hey, I need that thing over here right away, because I want to have a look at it, and I've got, I've got faith in them now <laughs> that this is probably a really good machine. And I, man, I'm excited to see it and, and use it, and you know, let's see how good it is, because I'll bet you it is pretty darn good, because they do make some cool stuff. This is the Longer Ray 5, and I want to thank again Zvanix and Longer for sending this over to us so we could have a look at it today. I'm going to change the angle here so you get up on top of the table here so you guys can uh, see this, because we're going to open the box, pull it all out, and let's have a look and see what comes with the Ray 5. Cool. Okay, let's get this party started. Yeah, let's get this thing open. All right, now the first thing we did was, okay, we've got the quick start guide. And again, with longer, they won't make it too sophisticated, but they do so have to uh, show you the parts. Whoops, upside down. Sorry guys, there you go, packing list, you know. And hopefully everything is there. So we're gonna whip through this quickly because I wanna get, wanna get this thing set up so I can, you know, manage this machine. It's got a fair amount of steps. And again, okay, turn it around again. Okay, so now we're gonna go one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven steps to assembly. Is there any more? And it looks like it. So we got the packing list, uh, an explanation of the features, and the laser itself. Now, this one is uh, stronger than that last one that we had in here a while back. It will cut, you know, some serious stuff. So let's get her together. There's the, let's get her unpacked, get this box out of here, and get these goodies out so we can have a look. Oh yeah. Uh, funny how uh, longer I have expected and now I realize, you know, they have really good quality stuff and I really like the way they put the stuff together. There's the first thing we really need <laughs> is these protective goggles or glasses because the laser can hurt your eyes. It's kind of like welding, you know, you just don't, you don't go there. And we got some power cords and some other cool stuff in here. And yep, and we got, oh, we got quite an assembly. And of course, in the package right here, yep, there's gonna be the laser. Uh, let's see if I can see. It is a, oh, and it's, a, I believe it should be a diode laser. I'm pretty sure it was a diode laser, but again, we'll, we'll have to figure all this out together because I, this is the first I've seen this thing, and I'm really excited because, like I said, longer makes some cool stuff. So let's get her, let's get all the goodies out of the box, and uh, we'll start setting everything aside here so we can begin the assembly. All right. Yeah, put these glasses somewhere safe while we get the rest of this unpacked. Oh man, this I don't know what size this machine is. I think it's 400 uh, millimeter by 400 millimeter. Uh, millimeter by 400 millimeter uh, work area, which in US terms would be here. That's exactly you know what it is. There's the power supply, nice little wall unit, and let's see. This is all the assembly for the uh, the bridges that will be involved with running the laser around. And we've got some nice little plates here. So yeah, we've got some assembly to do, but that's cool. I think that's everything. We'll just double check. We'll check the box to make sure nothing else, nothing. Yep, okay, I think we got it. So one of the first things you want to do with uh, spread out the goodies, of course, is to take a look at everything. And I want to show you something. that This is classic for uh, longer. They do a really smart little item here. I'll just show this package here. If, uh, it's a step one. So this is your corner grooves to put your four rails together. And each of these little baggies is, you know, has step three. Step four. So if you look at your instructions and you go to step one, you know, 
two, three, you'll see the baggie that relates to the assembly of the machine. So it's, it, you know, it may look overwhelming to, uh, to a few people, but it's really, it's just a, it's just a walk. You know, you're gonna spend a, a, a little bit of time, take your time and just s assemble this thing carefully and you're gonna have a nice machine when you get it all done. So, hey, you know. These corner pieces are really only gonna, they're only gonna work one way. So when you put them in to the corner, you're gonna put them in like this. If you get them wrong, I'll just show you what happens if you get them wrong, they won't go in correctly like this. And this is not what you want. What you want is the long edge on this up on the 2020 aluminum so you can put the corner together like that. So you'll notice the longer tag name is up on top. It's a flat piece of bark. The back is similar. It's, it's kind of a, you know, it's like 2020 aluminum, but it has a flat side. The flat side will be on the top, same as the longer at the back. So I've snuck up my corners and we've got step one completed. And now we're gonna put this on it. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys real quick, the longer name. And at the very top here is a bolt. So if you see zero to 410 millimeter scale on each of these, and also the bolt is over here, you'll know you, you've Theoretically, you got it right. Okay, let's go. Now this is not that hard. Again, you just feed it with the rollers into it. And it, as you can see here, it just glides nicely up and down on the frame. So it's a pretty straightforward item. Now let's just say this is step two. And let's see if there's anything else. Pay attention to the eccentric nut, prevent roller from being uh, damaged by the groove. Okay, which is these right here. Everything looking good. Uh, like I said, I, I've had good luck with longer in the past. So step three, we're gonna put the feet on this thing and the control package. The control box, I guess, sort of acts as one of the uh, feet for the machine, because you only have three plus the box. So yeah, uh, now when we look at the diagram, it indicates the back feet go across this way like this, and another one on the other side, of course, this way, and the last one uh, going this way. There doesn't seem to be uh, a particular side to these as far as that goes, so all we gotta do is get these feet on, and we found bag baggy number three with uh, step three written on it, which is all the hardware screws you're gonna need. Now, there are a couple of different, there's two different screws here, so you kind of have to watch out for that. So if something's not fitting right, stop, you know, don't, don't do it. Okay, so that's the finish of step three, but I'll just show you. One of the screws in the package is a stop screw with a plastic washer uh, sleeve on it that actually st stops right here, goes in on the side. There's also one short sort of cap screw. It goes on this end and then a regular, uh, you know, Allen head type screw goes in on this end. Okay, we're on step four right now. And I just want to show you this. This comes with the uh, longer Ray 5. And, you know, it's a USB plugged with a TF card in the back of it. So it's a little like an adopter. And inside this is the instructions to help you assemble this machine. So, you know, you should take a, you really need to take a look at this. And don't just assume you can just put it together without any thought because these drive belts have to be put in a very specific manner. Now, it's not hard, but you do have to put the belts in and you have to set your timing up on this rod back here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up on step four. And I guess at that point, we'll jump over to step five, which is to mount the actual laser up here. All right, so step five is just putting the laser uh, up here with the two plastic knobs. And you've got two little guide screws that go in the backside. Step, step six, the same thing. If you have 3D printers, this is a no brainer. You just cable out, you know, and plug everything, get your cables laid out kind of thing. And then step seven, get a piece of lumber and uh, let's see what we can do. Right now we're, we're burning in a bird on a piece of scrap plywood. But we also have a compass burned in already this morning. This is exactly what I expected from longer. Uh, it's a really nice, smooth, quiet running machine. You get a laser that you can vary, you know, run variable power to the laser, so you can set the amount of, you know, burn you're going to get into it. Oh, and we're done already. There we go. Yeah. So let's take a quick look at that. And there it is. Yep. Awesome. Now, the the applications are cool because they, uh, unlike some, you can actually put this over someplace and then create a file and just say this is going to be my home location for this particular burn. 
So you can open that up, pick a file, and then tell it the frame. It'll, the laser will show you where it's going to happen, and you say yes, okay, and then the laser will start up immediately. The downside is i got to wear these green goggles to keep everybody out of the garage while all this is happening. But <laughs> the uh, file, there's three files that they include that you can use immediately to go ahead and do some basic engraving without having to buy any software or do anything, which again, I expect that from a company like Longer. So I'm very pleased with the machine, and it went together really easily. It's a fairly easy assembly. In fact, you'll be really shocked at how suddenly you're done, you're ready to go, and just put a piece of scrap lumber or something in there and just start burning something. And in this case, I've got lots of uh, chunks of plywood laying around, so it's like, well, we'll just go ahead and burn something into the plywood and have a look at this. The other thing I guess I should mention is just look at the physical size of this machine. And you guys probably know, if you've watched the channel, I've had one of these in here before that was very small and only did a little tiny area. It really didn't do anything of any size. This one here, almost 16 inch by 16 inch area. So you can engrave and make something really big, which is what I really like. It's, it's kind of like the 3D printer that I had in months ago from longer with the LK5 Pro that did, you know, it's a big machine, it will make big parts, and this will do large engraving if, if, you know, if that's what you require, it'll do it. And for the price and the quality, I don't think you can beat this thing. And of course, uh, we have to, uh, you know, burn in the uh, YouTube logo on a piece of wood, just, you know, something to do. <laughs> just think all the great awards you could build for yourself, huh? Yep, with the engraver. You can do that with the longer. Uh, we're running uh, Lightburn, by the way, which is it has nothing to do with, uh, you know, the uh, any of these producers that make these machines. It's uh, just a really good software package that you can uh, pick up if you decide to go ahead and really get heavy on engraving. It uh, this Lightburn will just offer you a tremendous amount of things you can do with it. All right, so this is some of the uh, playing around I did this morning. I got the longer logo etched in. I also did the compass. I did the compass twice. Uh, this was a low power uh, setting, this was the higher power setting, and also they had these little birds in there that were kind of cool. I started the uh, YouTube thing and I thought, ah, I'm not going to bother with that. And of course we had to finish up with coffee and tools uh, burned into a piece of uh, wood. Let's go to a conclusion here. So basically I've had longer 3D printers, so this does not surprise me. It's big, you can see like I said, it's over 16 inch by 16 inch work area, and also it's, it's a good machine because Longer seems to do a nice job of, of support, software, you know, what comes in the box, everything you need, including tools to assemble this with. And if you walk through the steps, great. The machine is quiet. The laser is uh, only, I found out today, the laser is five watt, okay? <laughs> I had to do some digging on that one. It's like, it's a five watt diode laser and depending on how much power i had 50 percent power today and it was etching really nicely into some wood and if you got some small scrap wood laying around and you want to turn it into a plaque or something interesting engrave it you know it'll come out nice the longer what a terrific machine now i'm going to give you a su supply with links of course for where you can buy this thing with a dis uh, discount discount code all the goodies and hopefully they'll be available because i've i've heard talk these things are going to get sold out or something but we'll see they're uh, at a great price right now so if you have any interest in woodworking and you want to you know expand your horizon and get into a little bit of engraving you know this is the baby uh the software i use i'll probably provide you a link with even though there's no sponsorship there's nothing from lightburn but uh, lightburn is supported by pc mac and linux so there's you know you can set any machine up to say run this machine with Lightburn. Lightburn will, I've used Lightburn today to uh, run a couple small projects off and no problem, you know, really easy, really easy to set up. But you can also uh, do it on the uh, TF card this way or you can do a direct cable because also this comes with a longer. So, you know, all the way around, good. Just exactly what I anticipated from longer and it's exactly what I got, so I am, Wow, very pleased with this. Uh, you guys know that uh, somewhere down the road, <clears throat> we, won't, we won't let the cat out of the bag just yet, unless you've been watching episodes, you'll know what happens. But uh, talking about that sort of thing, this Thursday we have a uh, draw for a blower coming up, and then the next Thursday we'll have it, well, and then also Thursday we'll announce 
another tool review for a brand new tool and we will do another giveaway. And in the meantime, I want to thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I've got all kinds of different things coming in that we're going to be covering. This was, like I said, this is another, this is the second or third uh, of the uh, engravers in here and this one is longer. It is exactly what I expected. Very happy, very pleased, and exactly what I thought it would be. So, until next time, over and out. <laughs>